Okay, so I'm on a commercial bake, bleh, bake, I'm not baking anything, break from the Republican national debate. Um, today is August 6th, this is day 14 into my positivity journey of being HIV positive. Um, I have to clarify, I, I really want to make this stance just because, I mean, I guess these are personal video journals, I feel like I can. Uh, I'm not by any means a Republican, but I do believe it's important that you inform yourself on what everyone is saying, even if you don't necessarily share what their views are. So with that being said, uh, specifically talking about my journey with this is, um, uh, well, day two was yesterday of telling the second person of my status and that they should get tested. Um, Again, it's tough, but you do more harm than good if you don't tell them. I'll be honest, make the courtesy call. I wish someone had for me. Uh, past that, still dealing with uh, the person I'm seeing. And out of respect, I won't name names. I don't even want to get, you know, I guess too deep into it. But I've just realized things have changed. And uh, I can't force anyone to, you know be with me if they're not capable of, or are not ready, I don't want to say capable, but for their reasons are not wanting to be a part of this. Um, and it's interesting because it hurts, but I understand. So I think the advice I want to give someone is if you're going through the same thing, the thing that's given me solace is the fact that whoever I do end up with, and I think I might have mentioned this in the video beforehand, but it's something I guess just as I look at this every day and these journals are just about kind of in the moment, I have to reaffirm, you know, if eh, Donald Trump is talking, which is always hilarious, um, if you really think about it, whoever does end up with you from this point on is clearly not doing it for anything superficial. And if anything, is it harder to find someone? Yes, it is now. But in reality, you're going to find someone who's more genuine to how they feel about you and the reasons why they're with you. So, it gives me hope. It sucks to go through this. It sucks to have to emotionally deal with this. But, um, what are you going to do? I mean, I'm, you got to face it head on. I just hope, you know... I guess, you know, I, I hope that if, you know, if you're going through something similar, I hope it works out for you or you're able to find that peace as well. So, speaking of superficial things, though, I, this pimple's getting ridiculous and this lighting doesn't help. I want everyone to know that in good lighting, it's barely noticeable, kind of. But in this, the harsh computer, this very bluish white light, look at me getting technical. Uh, riding my bike's been great, even though I've given myself heat exhaustion, like, every day because it's been... 84, 85 degrees outside in the city, and today was honestly really one of the first days where it was cool and not humid. Um, I'm past that, you know, day 14. I'm just trying to keep myself entertained, trying to keep myself going. I'm a good spirit, but, you know, I, sometimes my mind, my mind wanders, and I think I'm trying really hard to make sure it doesn't. Anyways, much strength to all.